Hi guys, it's Jen the Diamond Painting Gamer here and welcome to my channel and a very big welcome to any new subscribers that have joined. Now today we have uh, another unboxing for you from Diamond Art Studio which is a UK based uh, company and it um, has licensed artwork from a variety of different artists and this painting here is actually from a new artist, which they have, um, I think it's the, this artist is exclusive to Diamond Art Studio, I heard. Anyway, um, this is their box. Uh, it's a um, lovely holographic box, uh, purple's their signature colour. I've taken it out of the outer wrapping already, but it's um, these come beautifully wrapped in brown paper with a purple bow. Uh, I need to get lessons on how they do their wrapping because it is absolutely phenomenal. Um, on the side of the box here, there is a picture of the toolkit. Now, Diamond Art Studio um, give the option to decline a toolkit uh, if you don't want one. Um, I got one with the very first painting that I ordered from them basically because I wanted to see what the toolkit was like. Um, but the subsequent paintings that I've ordered, I've, I've um, said, no, I've, I've, got, I've got enough toolkits. Um, anyway, um, if you do get the toolkit, it comes with um, a caddy of blue wax, a small boat with a spout, a pair of tweezers, a blue pen with a comfort grip, and a couple of multi-placers. Also on the box, Sorry, we have their social media details, including their website. And we also have basic diamond painting instructions, if you're new to the craft. Anyway, um, this is the image that I chose. It is, uh, as I said, a brand new artist. We'll dig the, the, um, the painting out in a little minute. But uh, basically, as soon as... As I saw this picture, uh, this kit, this I thought I need to have this in my life. <laughs> it, it is, it is amazing. Um, I love this artwork so much. But anyway, you don't want to see the picture on the end of the box. You want to see what's in the box. So we'll get it out. Okay, let's move the box to the side out the way. First of all, here are the drills. Um, we'll look at them in a bit more detail later, but as you can see, there's lots of blues in there. Um, I think blues are kind of predominant colour. Um, uh, Diamond Art Studio package their drills in individual bags. Um, these bags are slightly different to the ones that I've had before in the past from them, um, but I don't work out the bags anyway. Uh, I always kit up. Uh, this picture is a square and it is, what size is it? I think it's a 50 by 70. I'm not entirely sure, I don't know if it says it on the canvas, but we'll roll it back and we'll have a closer look. And there it is. It is absolutely gorgeous my goodness it's so beautiful now the artist the new artist that diamond art studio um, have is esther anna voros voros um apologies esther if i've pronounced your name wrong uh, we also have her branding here as well um i think she's hungarian um but yes she has three pieces um, with Diamond Art Studio. Um, yes, I've seen um, a couple of sneak peeks of the other ones and <laughs> yeah, I think I'll be going shopping again. <laughs> but the first time I saw this was on Instagram and as I said, I fell in love with it immediately. It is called Night Messenger and it is, yes, I'm right, it's a 50 by 70 square drill 
and it's got 32 colours. So yes, yes, absolutely stunning. Um, one of my favourite books uh, when I was uh, growing up and also still one of my favourite books now I have grown up. Well, people would say I've not quite grown up yet, but uh, I have. Is um, well, my favorite one of my favorite books ever of all time is Watership Down, and as soon as I saw this picture, that was what I got first of all. I got Watership Down shouting at me, uh, screaming at me, if you like, from um, you know the the Instagram page. Um, my first instinct was it was kind of like the Black Rabbit of Inlay. Um, if you haven't read Watership Down, please read it. It is definitely not a kid's book, even though quite a lot of people think of it as such. Um, it deals with some, actually some very dark topics. Um, yeah. But The Black Rabbit of Inley is, um, is, is kind of like the rabbit's personification of death or um, sort of like he is kind of like a spirit that kind of carries the or, or escorts the souls of the dead dying appears to dying rabbits uh, and escorts the souls of them once they've, they've passed over uh, in on to lord frith who is um, essentially rabbit god <laughs> in in the sky so yeah that's who the black rabbit is he kind of escorts the souls of the of the dead rabbits, of the the ones that have passed over, uh, up to Lord Frith. And at first, this kind of gave me serious Black Rabbit of Inlay vibes, you know, because he is so dark and so black. Um, you know, when you look at it up close, so it's it's maybe not so much like a black rabbit, you know, the the the, the uh, this dark spirit rabbit, you know, but a like a real rabbit. Fact, more like a hare given those ears but you know i'm calling it a rabbit um but it's it's uh, seems to be listening to the blackbird you know again you know still watership down maybe the black maybe the blackbird there is telling the rabbit you know um all about you know maybe intruders to the to their warren or you know um without well spoiler if you don't know uh anything about watership down um that there is going to be a spoiler here um there is a rival warren uh that comes and attacks their warren and that's led by a a crazed rabbit called general woundwort anyway um so he leads an attack on their warren and, and this is what i'm getting from this now i'm getting that this bird is now coming to tell the rabbits that uh general woundwort's on his way <laughs> and he's approaching fast and they better do something about it. <laughs> so yeah, okay. So that's that's what I'm getting from this picture now. When I see it, you know, sort of like in the flesh and close up. So, um, thank you, Esther Anna, for this absolutely beautiful piece of artwork. It is stunning, stunning. Anyway, um, moving on from the artwork <laughs> itself. Moving on from my ramblings about Watership Down. Uh. We'll have a little look at the drill field close up. We'll go sideways. Um, but it's lovely and clear. I can't see any massive issues. I've, I've um, I'm actually started work on my, my second uh, Diamond Art Studio piece. Um, which is Hamish. Hamish the Healing Coo. I made a start on him. I couldn't, I kitted him up and then I just, as soon as I kitted him up, I was like, no, no, I need to keep going. I need to keep going with him. Um, so so uh, so he's been started, but um, it's not very focused yet. That's better. Not as much colour blocking in this as I thought there was going to be, which is good. Um, I'm not a massive fan of huge blocks of the same colour. I much prefer confetti. Um, it helps to just give depth and shading. And I think, you know, looking at this, we're going to get plenty of that. Um, as I said, there's 32 colours. There's a mixture of letters, symbols, numbers. But yes, it looks, it looks absolutely stunning. Now, I also heard a little rumour, or read a little rumour, should I say, um, 
I can't remember where it was. I don't know if it was on their Facebook page or whether it was in the comments section of um, another creator's video. But I heard that this artwork, all three pieces by um, Esther Anna, uh, they've been hand charted. So, you know, the, and, um, so yeah, I mean, I think that's probably come across in this, uh, in the depth of field here that it looks like we're going to get. So not only have we got a nice new artist, but we've also got hand charted um, canvases. So absolutely fantastic, really super. Um, yeah. Oh, I love this. I love this. <laughs> I can't go over how much I love this. I don't know if I like this better than Hamish or if I like Hamish better than this one. Um, I'm kind of out to lunch on that. We'll see once they're both made up. <laughs> but both are going to have a, a big place. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's have a look at the drills. So this is a square painting. Now, Diamond Art Studio offer a choice of um, square and round. Uh, for a great many of their paintings but I think this one is only available in square there may be one of the other plate pieces by um, Esther Anna who um, that is available in rounds and square but I know this one is definitely only in square um, I think our, one of our other ones is a dragon and I think the the, um, the other one is a, a stag or a deer um, so yeah, um, the, st the, the deer is kind of similar colour palette to this. The dragon is reds and blacks. I think there's a girl kind of reaching up into the, to touch the dragon. Um, but, and that's reds and blacks. But I think the, uh, I think the deer is very similar to this. It's kind of black with so a kind of bluish background. Okay. So we'll just um, look at the colour palette that we've got here with the drills. Um, there are lots of lovely shades of blue. There's a couple of 996s. 995. These bags are incredibly full. 820. Now, I love 820. I think this is one of my favourite colours. I just love that royal blue. Um, it's, it's really quite dark and it's got a lovely shine. I love this on a diamond painting. I think it's one of my favourite colours on a diamond painting. Um, so yes, lovely, lovely blue palette here. Let's dig some more blues out. I mean, you know, you can see that the shading, here we go as a lighter colour. The shading on this is going to be absolutely incredible with, with, with all these different, different uh, blues. There's another 995. Um... 803. Okay, that's um, so here's like kind of browns, greens, 5200, not much 5200 actually. A yellow. Oh, now I like this one as well. 3756. Um, it's kind of like kind of slight green tinge to it, a white with a slight green tint to it. I think there's another one, 3755, which is um quite similar i like this color it's it's uh as well gosh even though there's 32 colors there's a lot of bags because it's quite a big picture 310 we've got a couple of bags of 310 more grays another blue blue gray uh, browns okay that's uh, grays for the shading uh, some more greens, more blues, blue grey. Here's eight two three. A couple of bags of eight two three. Beige, yellow. Got a golden yellow. More blues. A brown thirty three seventy one. That there with the beiges. The brown. And uh, there's a green. Okay, so so yeah, there's our colour palette there. So we've, it's mostly blues and blacks for the darker area for the silhouetted areas. Some browns. 
greys for the shading. That thirty-seven fifty-six for the white area. Well, looks like white area. It's kind of where the moonlight is. Um, there. And uh, so greens for the the buds. On the flowers. And you've got some mushrooms here, which are kind of got the yellows on the top. Yeah, the yellows are on the top of these kind of mushroom areas, a wee bit here on the flowers as well, the flower buds. But yes, it is beautiful. I love this. Let's move the drills off his off his little face. Now I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to name him. I always like to name um some of my animals in um in the picture i'll have a little think about this for a moment for a while uh maybe come up with a name while i'm while i'm uh, putting them up uh i don't particularly want to take a rabbit's name from from watership down although it is giving me serious serious rabbit vibes um i'll have a little think i'll have to think a little think uh and the bird as well the bird's gonna have to, got to have a name as well so if anybody can think of or suggest any names, um, that would be great. And uh, you can pop them down in the comment section below. But uh, yeah, when I kit this up, I'll tell you what his name is or her name. Her name. Maybe, yeah, maybe it's a she. Maybe it's a she. Okay, well, um, thank you very, very much uh, for watching this unboxing. Uh, if you like the video, uh, please uh, hit the thumbs up button down below. And if you uh, want to see more from me, um, I'd love you to subscribe. And uh, yes, great. Well, have a nice evening and I shall see you all in my next video. Okay, cheerio guys.